And if you are planning on helping out with any of the trail maintenance projects for the Friends of the Dillon Ranger District, before you hit the trails, you can always pop in and get a wonderful latte or tea of your choice at the Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea. Erin, how are you doing this morning? Very well this morning, thank you. Good. We were saying it kind of feels like fall already. It does. I which kinda, made me kind of sad. I kind of felt like as it started August 1st, there was frost on my windshield and you just, us locals up here were like, it's coming. It is coming. <laughs> and this one's like school starting. You see it at, you know, the, at the Target and Walmart with all the mm -hmm. back to school stuff. So that's kind of like, is fall already here? I know. I'm like, I've got my summer mm -hmm. goals. I have to. <laughs> got to bang those out quickly. I, gotta, I, gotta, I don't have much time. More weeks. <laughs> I know. But so, it's been fun though. It's and you know, it still is summer. It is still summer. It is still as much as we're nervous about it because yeah. it snowed for so late into the spring. I think yeah. we're all still really just nervous that the summer's gonna end so quickly. But it is still summer. We still have our back patio, which is still beautiful. Yeah. Still have some great summer drinks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a fun and time. It's still really hot outside. It is. Like know? I think tomorrow the high is gonna be what, upper seventies, low eighties yeah. even? Yeah. yeah. Even, so, well, even today it is. Yeah. So it's so it's just even, fooling us. It's just making though, us really appreciate that it's summer. <laughs> yes, yeah. And so it's like even though the mornings are chilly, yes. we still have nice warm days. We do. So yeah. and I am thankful for all the moisture that we've been having. It's such been a very contrast nice. from last summer. It is. So none of that worry about like the smallest spark is gonna send the whole forest up, which is still something mm. to be considerate yeah, of. it is. We are in moderate wildfire danger Yes, still. absolutely. Mm. So it's still, but you know what? I still like being able to mm. come into my, like get a coffee, or have my coffee, get my big salmon lox bagel, Ooh, and bring those. it on They're a so hike good. with us. We've been uh -huh. doing some big kid hikes uh -huh. this summer. We've got peak one scheduled for later this week. So as a parent who's dragging a small kid out of bed to go hike a big mountain, I need a coffee. <laughs> so yes, and uh, and what is what does Oliver get in the morning to drag him out of bed? Hot chocolate. Kisses. Kiss kisses. <laughs> no. Snuggles. Snuggles. Sorry. Snuggles. My Snuggles bad. Gets. I got the order wrong. <laughs> but it's the best way to you know really just fuel up before whatever summer activity you want to do. And mm -hmm. you know if you want to think about school starting soon. Also, yeah. I know. <laughs> that one says no, he doesn't want to think about school starting soon, but you know, if you're thinking about those back to school gifts for your teachers, um, you know, gift certificates, travel mugs, yeah. bulk coffee, because if, you know, they don't necessarily get the same kisses and snuggles that we get yeah, these no, guys to, to get them no. to school on time. And they can definitely use that sort of kickstart into the semester yes. to get things going. Because they haven't been hanging out with your kids all summer. No, they <laughs> haven't. And then suddenly they get 25 of them yeah. at once. <laughs> yep. And they're going back to school pretty soon to get their, their classrooms all set up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're actually, they're probably like, I would imagine in like meetings now, kind of getting things sorted. So. Yep. I've talked to yeah. some of my friend teachers and they said, oh, I was... I was the prepared one. I got my room ready like slowly over the summer, so yeah. I wasn't just attacked all at once with having to uh, prep yeah. everything. That's that, that's no. a good idea. Yeah. Now we actually are watching one today is a twenty-five dollar gift certificate thanks to you guys to Red Buffalo and Coffee and Tea. So what are all the different ways that they can spend yeah. it? You know, well, there's you so much more than just going in for a latte, which is what I always get, which I love. You, yeah, it would but, be a great way. I mean, mm. that's two weeks worth of a drip coffee right there, uh -huh. so you could easily. Um, you know, find yourself caffeinated for half of the month or mm -hmm. like we said earlier for teacher stuff we do have travel mugs that are really mm -hmm. good. We have these great travel mugs that they're the ones that are super super insulated so for oh, better so or worse your drink stays really hot for yeah. a long time. <laughs> um, sometimes you can't take your first sip for a few minutes. Yeah well that's what it, those are great for you have mm. one mug for the coffee for now yes. and then one and that mug for the coffee for later. Exactly you got to pace yeah. yourself mm -hmm. because we all have to you know one coffee in the morning just isn't usually enough. No. So, Especially but, when it tastes so good. Yeah, and you're like, but, <laughs> but I need more. It's that goes back to Johnny Depp. So why is the rum gone? Why is the coffee gone? Where's the coffee gone? And of course, and you know, bulk coffee. Yes. We also do have some fun local art too that you be, guys do. Yeah. That would be really fun to be able to like 
spruce up your house with that as a gift or something of that sort. Well, something I noticed last, one of the last times I was in there is that, you know, besides just having art on the walls, you have some in picture frames actually on the tables you do. throughout the shop. And I really like that. I thought yeah. that was great. And we also have some jewelry from one of our staff members too. And it's made out of um, recycled, bi recycled bicycle tires. Oh, so much fun. And uh, we also have some pottery from a, one of our local customers. He mm -hmm. likes to make pottery on his side gig and he's got oh, some nice. great Great, beautiful cups. Yeah. So there's lots of fun, like little things as well. You can kind of spruce your yourself up with, besides just a coffee. Yeah. Now so we were talking about hanging out in the back patio earlier, and we yes. just showed a picture of it. Is the rivers? I haven't been out there for a little while. Is the river still booming out there? It's still going well. It hasn't like gone down to the the midsummer levels um, yeah. as we have seen. Yeah. But it is. It's gone down quite a lot. It's not yeah. quite as dangerous for small dogs to okay. <laughs> be nearby. Um, well, but good. so it's just okay, such so a pleasant place. We got, mm -hmm. you know, the rain from last night washed away of all of our great sidewalk art. So, this guy grew a nice volcano. So, so a fresh to, canvas. Yes, you should come on by and yeah. doodle something up for us. And uh, relax while the kids are entertained. Yes, exactly. Now, where can people find you again? So again, you want to come to 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. Okay. That's just a quarter mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit mm -hmm. in Silverthorne. On the way to everywhere. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we're right next to the Lake Dillon Theater Company, Rainbow Park, the Silverthorne Outlets, and we're open Rainbow seven days a week, I? 6.30 to 5. So you have okay. plenty of time to come and check us out. We got wireless internet if you need to get work done, mm -hmm. because let's face it, there's always something to do. Yes, there's always something to do. And when you get it done, then you can be back on vacation. Right, then you cheat yourself <laughs> another cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, well, so. Aaron and Oliver, thank you so much for yes, coming by. Thanks and thanks us. again for the watch and win the $25 gift certificate to Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea. Later on in the show, mm -hmm. folks, we'll have our trivia question for your chance to win. Now, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, we're going to have a road report coming up shortly, so don't go anywhere.